Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mike here. Mike's Road Page. It's Thursday, August 24th. Time for a 5 o'clock somewhere tropical update. we got something brewing in the Gulf of Mexico. Could impact Florida next week. So we're going to really digest that. This is your overall look at the tropics right now, currently. Um, this is Invest 92. i got the spaghetti models on the site. Looks like it's kind of doing a recurve. This is old Emily that we had a couple uh, days ago, and uh, it's kind of doing that recurve too. So we're not going to talk, talk too much about these two. Franklin uh, passed through Hispaniola, brought a lot of rain. It appears that it's going to go west of Bermuda and east of Nova Scotia. There was, there was some chitter-chatter that this thing was going to hit the continental U.S., but that's hopefully out of everybody's minds right now. It's staying out there uh, in the Atlantic. But we got people that watch in Newfoundland, and uh, there's a chance it could kind of curve that way. These are your latest spaghetti models. So Bermuda looking like it's a little bit to your west, and Nova Scotia a little bit to your east. Uh, all that's on my website. Uh, it is expected to be a cat too, though, in the next few days. Um, this is what we're watching. This is an area right now coming out of Central America. Uh, NHC's got it marked. It was 20, 40, now 60% percent chance uh not an invest yet because there's no true center of circulation um this is what it looks like though this is the other side of central america um got a lot of convection a lot of juice uh this area is going to get pulled northward there's an uh, upper level low the gulf of mexico and uh already got a little bit of spin to it this is your lower level wind maps kind of showing you that so that's the area that they xed um upper level winds here kind of showing you what's going on uh this is helping uh accelerate this northward then it's going to stall a little bit um around the yucatan and definitely going to be watching F florida primarily early week to midweek next week um i'm going to show you all the latest models here kind of give you an idea what's what's the latest is so we're going to go to tropicaltidbits.com and uh euro has been really all over this system and uh what we're seeing here is there are low pressure over the weekend kind of stall around the yucatan the longer it stalls out here you know the more time it's going to have to develop into a little deeper system but once um once it starts to move it, it's going to almost uh like lift off and uh, we're going to see it really get gone and probably by thursday might be out of here for everybody but in the meantime we're watching these pressures and uh, the latest euro is at 989 could be borderline hurricane it's going to pass through florida could bring some weather to the east coast states next um water's warm four to five degrees above normal we have the mjo i talk about that where it's an enhanced stage right now so those are two factors that are could help us you know intensify going to be some wind shear and it might have a little less time than it needs to develop into something too strong. So it's got two favorable conditions, two negative conditions. So we're seeing a slow ramp up by most of the models so far. But I'm going to show you some ensembles here in a second. We never turn our back on any system in the Gulf, that's for sure. And the longer it sits out here off the Yucatan, those waters are warm, ocean heat content. Uh, but this is the latest, 989, cut through the state. That means a lot of wind. We do have shear. We're going to have a lot of action on the um, east side. Uh, coming in off of the Gulf of Mexico, could be dealing with some surge if it gets close to Tampa Bay. You know, the final track isn't even set yet. But uh, if it is a sheared system, most of the heaviest action will be off to the east side and uh, a lot of rain. So another model we'll look at, a Canadian model has done very well with the tropics this season. Almost predicting the exact same thing here. Uh, slow ramp up through the Gulf, up around the Big Bend area, uh, and that's Tuesday. The euro was uh, almost exactly the same. Here's Tuesday morning into Wednesday. So there's two models showing that. Uh, the icon's a little weaker. Um, 18Z's running now. 12Z showing you, you know, 1,003. Icon's good with detection, not really a good um, intensity model. But we got three reliable models showing the Florida Peninsula. There's another model that, uh, not on Tropical Tidbits, but it's the UK model, and it does good sometimes. It did look good last year. I just want to point it out to some pivotal weather. Uh, it's showing a 996 system, uh, 994. A little bit of strengthening here as it approaches uh, landfall. So, got a lot of model support this thing could try to develop. Uh, I want to show the ensembles. This is on Weather Nerds. 
weathernerds.org. Now, what we're seeing here is this, uh, that crossover, and then we're, this system's just going to sit there. This is Franklin, by the way. The steering currents are, of Franklin are kind of what's driving this almost, uh, our system in the Gulf's almost going to follow Franklin as far as the steering um, currents go. But this is going to, this is going to sit. And, you know, my big question mark is how, what's it going to do uh, over the Yucatan there? It's, it, it might sit there a day or two over the weekend. So we'll be watching it close because the stronger that it, it can get going here means the stronger it could be for uh, final landfall. So that'll be a lot to watch over the weekend, uh, what it does here off the Yucatan. we got people down in Belize. Um, that, you know, that whole area could get a lot of rain and wind as this thing tries to develop. Well, then we get into Monday and Tuesday, hits developing here, and we're seeing 51 members of the Euro, and look, most every single one is, is, is turning northeastward. Um, so that's the latest. Uh, what's kind of got my eye, too, here uh, is the, um, the pressures. We have quite a few showing up under 1,000 millibar. So even though the Euro is around 990, there are some that are lower, so we gotta can't rule out it's only gonna be a tropical storm when we're seeing ensembles a little bit deeper than 990. So um, can't turn our back on it. But bottom line, but the steering current's pretty solid. Uh, it could be like I said, could could go a little bit to the north and cause cause some trouble for the east coast. Uh, overall, though, it looks like it's out of here by at least the following weekend. Um, so it's coming. It's, it's sneaking in quick. And we're going to we'll keep an update on, on all this. But we can also go to Trouble of Tidbits real quick. I want to look at this. I usually try to have everything open on these YouTube videos. But let's go to the European. Um, let's see if these are the 12Zs yet. I think they got posted. They did. Okay, so we can look a little closer to um, some of these ensembles. On the on the tropical tidbit site, you can see you know 83, 82, 88. You know there's 87, 80, 70. So you know um, can't rule out a hurricane at this point. So there you go. It's gonna be a lot to watch. These things wiggle, wobble. Uh, gonna be a lot of rain. Rain maps are already starting to pick up on it. Um, but just want to give you an update on that. We'll fine tune things. I'm doing a special live tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern uh, here on YouTube. And, of course, tomorrow's Daily Brew at 919 Eastern. So we'll watch this and progress. Um, if you haven't yet, follow me on TikTok. I do a video, and uh, we do a lot of videos over there. So if you want quickie updates, uh, if you're on there, make sure you look me up. They're easy to do, and I do a lot of those. So, so we'll see over there. But there's latest, greatest. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe here on YouTube and like. We're trying to get this up to 100,000 by the end of the season. That would be a goal. All right. See you.